going to wear my pigeon dunks today, but decided against it. But uh, this young man is successful in his own right as a designer, as an entrepreneur, and he's going to lead the discussion today, Jeff Staple. What's up, everyone? Thank you. Wow, we got a good house here. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. So without further ado, let's bring out Big Sean. What up, Sean? Hey. What's up, man? <laughs> what's up? What's up, Wayne State? <laughs> What's up, player? How's what it going? Up? Good. Good. How's it feel to be home? Man, it feels like being home. It's the best thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? My mom right there in the front. What's dope is that it sounds like you still vividly remember the times and, and the experiences that you went through to get here. Oh, hell yeah. Man, one of the things I learned is that you can lose something twice as fast as you got it. So there's no point in like you know, flashing it around or mm -hmm. burning the necessary bridges, man. So, you know, I'm, I, I guess you could say I'm a humble dude, but I'm not humble because you're supposed to be humble. You know, I'm humble because that's just how I was brought up and that's just who I am. You know, that's how I always been before, before I had anything. Word. And, um, you know, it's some people who were completely different and some people who act completely different. And it's some people who try and be humble because they know it's the right thing to do, but you know, if you take everything away from me, I'm still gonna be that same dude. Whether the camera's on or off, it's the same. you know, it's the yeah. same thing, man. Now, I've seen some of the best times of my life and I've been exhausted. I've worked 24 hours a day before. And, you know, it's better than doing something that I wouldn't wanna do. And one of the things I also learned was that the journey is the most important part as opposed to the payoff or what you're doing it for, man. The, the things you learn, the things that make you into that man or into that woman are priceless times and they're gonna create your character. They're gonna mold you into the person you wanna be and the yeah. person you need to be, you know, so. Yeah, sure. I think the most important thing he just said was exactly true, like, it's better to work 24 hours a day at something you love to do than one hour a day at something you hate doing. You, know, you can't ever think that anything is too unbelievable. I feel like that's one of the main mistakes that people make, you know, when they set goals out. They be like, yeah, I want to be an actress. Ah, oh, but being an actress is so damn hard. Oh, I can't do this, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't move to L.A. What am I thinking? I can't do this, you know. Yeah. And they cancel that idea right then. And, you know, I remember being in fifth grade telling the teacher I wanted to be a rapper or sign a Def Jam. And they looked at me like, what the hell are you talking about, you know. But I always knew. and. Like I said, I ain't know how it was gonna happen. I remember riding to school every day with my best friend Tone, and we used to like always talk about, yo, when we sell out the palace, or when we perform at the palace, we, you know. Yeah. And um, we ain't know how it was gonna happen, but you know, I never canceled it out though, ever. When I was younger, uh, my grandma and my mom uh, they sent me to a school, an Indian village called the Detroit Waldorf School, which is right like by Belle Isle. And um, they were a school that specialized in like, you know, they were very artistic. Yeah. For instance, like they didn't give us textbooks, they would teach us the information in textbooks. We had to write, our, write it ourselves, draw our own pictures to it. Okay. We had to recite poems every morning. You know, it, it was like weird, you know, we, we took like German and Spanish for like six years, both of them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Played a couple different instruments. But um, it's crazy because that prepared me for so much. You know, I didn't realize, it taught me how to think faster. It taught me how to rhyme words more. Sometimes I always think about like skills versus hard work. Mm -hmm. And for your, for your Well, it isn't about how hard you work, it's about how smart you work. Oh, go, go on. <laughs> go on, what's the difference? No, I mean, you know, <laughs> there's some people who are billionaires, who are multi-millionaires who are, or whatever you consider success, that are happy, mm -hmm. that work a couple hours a day, if that, right. you know? And there's some people who work 15 hours a day who are depressed or who are angry and who are in debt, you know? And it's not a measurement of how hard you work. And that's something I've learned that, you know, it's all about what you believe. Anything that you believe, if you believe that you can be successful and not work that much and have an easy life, then you probably can be successful. 
and not work that much and have an easy life. And, you know, it's just all about your mindset, man. And a lot of people who aren't in the place that they are, they want to be in is because of themselves. You know, yeah. I realize there's nobody else holding you back but yourself, how you think, what you think about, Yeah. you know? On my first album, I was coming from the perspective of wanting to be famous, you know, wanting to be on, wanting to like buy a Rolex and, you know, wanting to have this girl and do all these different things. But then, you know, after I went on my first tour and kids were coming up to me like, yo, you my hero, man. I listen to everything you say, man. Like, I was like, oh, shit, man, I mean, I got to say something good or worth saying. <laughs> and, you know, and when I really looked at it and stepped back and stepped out of my situation and I looked at the artists that I do admire, you know, from James Brown to Marvin Gaye mm -hmm. to Jay-Z to Kanye West, they all stood for something that meant something. So I wanted to make sure I stood for something. So when I look back, I don't wish I woulda, coulda, shoulda did anything. Or when I look back, you know, I could be proud, my family could be proud, my, my city could be proud, my grandma could be proud, my mom could be proud. Or, you know, I am just want to let people know that it's cool to be who you are. You know, when I was in high school, I was always trying to like put a facade on and I wasted so much time trying to put a facade on and trying to be hard, when really I should have just been focusing on what I wanted to do. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to talk a little about fame now. You know? I, I think I'm, I suck sometimes at like being a celebrity or being famous because I like, I, I don't know, I talk too much or, <laughs> you know, I make the wrong moves or I go places I probably shouldn't be sometimes, but you know, I feel like you can't live your life based off what people think or, uh -huh. you know, things like that, man. I just do me and I do what makes me happy, you feel me? And yeah. it, it, it is an adjustment, but, you know, I never get angry to the point where I'm like, you know, about to fight any paparazzi or do any crazy things like mm -hmm. that for me. So it's just like, <laughs> but it's what do you just, mean by that though? Like you suck at being a celebrity. I don't know. It's just like, you know, I, I'm just honest. I don't know if I suck at being a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? I, that's just my personal thought. I feel like, you know, I just try and be real. I'm not Hollywood. I'm not uh -huh. somebody who, you know, try and push a facade up or just says, whatever to be politically right. I'll just say how I feel yeah. and do what I feel and, you know, eat what I feel or go out, you know, I right. can't eat caviar, man. I'm not into that type of shit. You know? right. not, <laughs> there's certain things I like and I don't like. If you could go back in a time machine yeah. and talk to yourself as a young man, as a young teenager, what advice would you give him? From what you've learned. You know, I thought about that before. You know, I, I used to be like, yeah, I go back and be like, yo, man. Yeah, what would man, you say? Don't stress so much, man. Chill out. Like, you know, relax. But, you know, all those things made me who I am. If you don't learn from your mistakes, if you don't let your mistakes be your teachers, then, you know, they don't, it, it's not, it, it's not worth it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's you not worth going through those them. times. So you got to experience, you know, failing some, or, not, you know, whatever you go through, you have to experience and just know you're supposed to go through it, whether you're at the top, whether you're at the bottom, and you gotta learn from it, you gotta let your, like, you know, your, your tough times be your teachers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's almost better to just let you go through them and make sure the man who you are today, right? Yeah, even though that shit sucks sometimes, man. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, what is one thing that Detroit has taught you that you don't think any other city could have taught you? I don't can't speak for any other city, but Detroit, of course, taught me that no matter how crazy the times are, we always gotta pull through, we gotta hustle, we gotta make it happen. That's one of the things I learned. Um, you know, what else did the city teach me? I don't know, the city gave me morals. It, it taught me to be the person I am, and you know, it's a, it's a hard city to make it out of to earn respect. And one thing I love about Detroit is that you got to earn their respect here. You know, they're not going to give it to you. So, you know, those are just a couple things, man. It taught me to be the man I am. Thank you.